Welcome back to another video, devoted viewers. We have been witnessing, for months now, an amplification of heavenly revelations to many seers worldwide. These gentle cautions, albeit given at various periods and locations, all center on the necessity of fasting, prayer, and conversion. True salvation means living a life that is devoted to walking in God's light as a Christian. Catholic mystic and seer Luz de Maria de Bonilla is well known for her profound spirituality and the heavenly messages she says she has received from saints, Christ, and the Virgin Mary. Her insights, which frequently focused on prayer, conversion, and the impending cleaning of the earth, have warmed the hearts of millions of Christians all over the globe. Luz de Maria was given a fresh and potent word by the Lord in September of this year, alerting people to impending prophecies. The most recent message exhorts people to strengthen their faith, be ready spiritually, and put their confidence in God's kindness. Luz de Maria's vision predicts that the world is going to enter a time of tremendous difficulty, particularly for specific towns and nations that have turned away from God. This warning is a call to conversion, nevertheless, so that people may turn from their sins and turn back to God, where they will find His protection. So there is hope in this warning. This September revelation is consistent with Luz de Maria's prophetic messages over the years, which have all included a strong appeal to prayer, unity among people, and faith in divine providence in trying times. Luz cautions us on the significance of paying close attention to what is being communicated and, above all, strictly adhering to God's plan, because this year has been especially severe. Luz got an extremely significant and urgent communication in September of 2024. Pay close attention through to the conclusion. The Lord has sent a significant word about several towns that are about to be set free from sin and evil. Luz de Maria has just received an especially powerful and urgent revelation from God, warning of impending judgment upon multiple towns across five nations. The prophetic vision states that these locations would now experience divine retribution as a means of cleansing since they strayed from God and became arrogant and spiritually apathetic. This is a call to repentance and conversion rather than an act of destruction. God, in a spirit of justice and love, declares that these occurrences will not destroy these towns, but rather rock their foundations and win people back to Him. The speech asks listeners to get ready spiritually, acknowledging that salvation is contingent upon humility and a return to trust. It is an irresistibly strong appeal that offers those who choose to answer in prayer and repentance a chance at salvation. We need to be extremely watchful in the next few days because specific things will happen before to the October 12th prophecy. Several times, our Lord has cautioned us about the pressing necessity of turning away from sin and putting our will in line with His. The content of the messages from the world's most famous seers has not changed over the years, as anyone who pays attention to them would attest. God's words are harsh warnings for our salvation, whether they come from our loving Mother Mary, the brave Saint Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, or Jesus Himself. The warnings have always been neglected, from the time of Fatima to the more recent apparitions at Medjugorje and Luz, as covered in this film. God has repeatedly told us that if we don't act now, a severe penalty would be required to bring everything back to normal a major reset that is now unavoidable. The prophecy of the towns in peril is an essential event and a strong indication of the times. Maybe those who say it's the end of the world are right. Though we must be vigilant, we shouldn't be terrified. Scattered throughout five nations are a large number of endangered cities. The prophets, among other persons, are among the channels through which the Holy Spirit has communicated. We are grateful to you, Holy Spirit, for leading us and alerting us in time. God, I am grateful. Honor be to Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. The nations in which these cities are situated were revealed in the impending prophecy dream, in which God foretells that He will empty over thirty cities. I was strolling through a big metropolis with towering towers. 
I found it odd that dreams may occasionally include divine messages. There was a peculiar sense in the air, as if something significant had been forgotten, despite the fact that the streets were packed with people going about their daily lives. There was a heavy feeling in my heart, knowing that something was seriously off. Abruptly, the sky grew gloomy, and a fierce wind blew through the streets, strewing dust and papers everywhere. All was quiet, and suddenly, I heard a voice, not from earth, but from above. It was the strong voice of God. These cities have forgotten me, he murmured. They live as though I don't exist, and take pride in their strength. Their window of opportunity for repentance has now closed, and they have forgotten their actual goal. I am coming to judge them, but not to destroy them, but to restore them to me. They won't come back to me until everything they rely on is upended. I saw a huge map of the earth while God spoke. A black light began to glow in several of the cities in the five red highlighted countries, indicating that they were to be judged. These cities have been warned numerous times, but they have disregarded me, said God. They are about to confront judgment, which will cleanse them rather than destroy them. Their pride will be burned by the fire, bringing them back to me. The foundations of those who oppose me will collapse, but those who humble themselves and turn back to me will be saved. I observed these cities in a state of turmoil, with people running away in terror, buildings trembling, and economies crumbling. However, in the midst of the chaos, a few individuals knelt in prayer, pleading for God's forgiveness. I realized that this verdict was intended to inspire a shift in perspective that could only be brought about by such a potent shock, not to punish. The cities aren't just any old cities. Each of the five countries has a city that is deeply rebelled against. The five nations were revealed by God, and the biggest event in each of their histories is about to occur in their cities. There is grave risk for the United States, the United Kingdom, China, Russia, and Germany. We must act immediately because God's judgment is premeditated and intended to save as many souls as possible. Before it's too late, we must urge the residents of these cities to turn from their sins. Luz de Maria's teachings ring true as a powerful appeal to trust, hope, and spiritual preparedness in these deeply uncertain times. Prophecies might be frightening, but they can also point people toward redemption through repentance and reconnection with God. The light of divine kindness always illuminates the future, no matter how bleak it may appear. Instead of leaving his children behind, the Lord calls us to recommit to our faith and persevere in prayer through these revelations. The most recent communication, which was received in September, is a pressing call to stop wasting time put God first in our lives and ask for his protection during these trying times. It is an appeal for courage, hope, and faith that God is always with us in the midst of difficulties. It's time to let our hearts open and answer this heavenly summons with bravery and confidence. As God's children, let's accept this call to conversion so that we can go into the future knowing that his love and light will lead the way even during the darkest times. Whether you reside in these cities or not, I encourage you to join me in prayer right now with all your faith if you desire to turn from your sins. Together, let's pray. Dear God, we approach you in dread and wonder at your majesty. We are aware that you rule over every country, city, and individual. You are the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Everything was created by you, and nothing occurs against your will. We humbly ask for your direction today. Through your prophets, you have warned us of impending calamity and a period of hardship for the towns that have turned their backs on you and allowed pride to fester in their hearts. As your children, we come before you, pleading for these cities and their people's mercy and kindness. We beg for your mercy, despite the fact that many have disregarded your warnings. There is always room for grace and forgiveness in your judgment. We ask that these difficulties will lead people to return to you. Help them realize that their confidence in things is insufficient to save them and break their pride. May you shine in the darkness, and may you finally get heard by those who have disregarded your call. We pray for change, for lives to be transformed, for souls to be rescued. We give you thanks, Father, on behalf of the residents of these cities. Many have lost sight of their actual mission, which is to know and serve you, 
because they have been sidetracked by riches, power, and pride. We pray for mercy for those who turn from their sins and come back to you, even in judgment. Bring them to repentance by assisting them in seeing how empty their lives would be without you. We are aware that, according to your word, significant days are coming up. Please help us to believe in your flawless plan, even when we do not understand it, and to stay alert and focused on you. Everything will work out for the benefit of those who love you, since you are in charge. May you be praised in whatever that occurs, and may the difficulties that lie ahead demonstrate your strength, kindness, and love. We put all of our hope and faith in you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. I appreciate you staying until the very end. May you always be blessed with the light of Christian truth. May your path of faith be blessed.